After covering the engines, now the sound is routed to the filters. And we have two filters in pigments, and they are identical. You can set each of them separately, and you can do also a swap between them. So you can have, for example, what we have now, and I'm clicking the swap, and there you go. Filter 1 is now where filter 2 used to be, and vice versa. Why is that important? This is important because we can route the filters either parallel or uh, in series. And note that the volume of each of the filter makes a difference. If you have filter 1 feeding filter 2, then you need to watch out for your, for your volume. It either can be too much or maybe too little. But again, that might be just what you want, so that's okay. Now, apart from that, each of the filters have a mode uh, selector here, so or type. So we have filter 1 here, and it's set to multi-mode. The multi-mode is very useful filter because it has all the usual suspects here. You have the low pass, you have high pass, you have bend pass, you have notch, and so on. And you can play with the cutoff to select exactly where your uh, focus of, um, of the filter is. And let's select something different. You have a resonance button here. And in addition, we have a modulator that can modulate the filter. And if you click this, you see a selection of options here. Right now, we are tracking the keyboard. But we can also have LFO 1, 2, or 3, for example, modulate our filter. So let's select this one, and let's hear it. And we already see LFO 1 in, in the works here. So we can go to LFO 1 and see exactly what's going on. And we can also click on the tab here and set whatever we want uh, LFO 1 to be. And we'll cover the LFOs and all the other options here, all the modulators in a later session. I can also select an envelope, for example, one of the three envelopes. So let's take envelope two and go to the envelope tabs. So this is really, really useful. What else? So we have other types here. We have the SEM, which is a um, sort of a, a external box external um, um, filter that is used to be um, used in synthesis and it's by Oberheim so it's uh, it's very unique and it's modeled here and it also sounds great notice that the mode here is changing the shape of the filter We also have some of the filters from the Matrix 12 synthesizer. And again, remember, you can always modulate whatever parameter you see. So you can click the plus here, and let's have LFO1. Double clicking will set you back to zero. What else? We have Mini, which is sampled uh, Mini Moog filter, and you have a drive here, and that's also very, very sought out type of a filter. We also have Surgeon, which is a 64 dB per octave drop here, so a slope. So let's have a look at that, for example. Low pass. <laughs> and
and it has other modes, for example, notch. And we have a spread. What else? We have a COM filter, which has two modes. It has uh, feedback and feed forward. With the feed forward, we're just flipping the notches here. We have a phaser. And notice the poles here. So playing with that will give you more notches. And feedback, feeding back the, f uh, the input back to itself. So we can have, for example, a uh, function. Let's take function one. Let's see what's going on. Right click, we'll clear the points here. Very interesting. So next, formant. And formant just is a, a sort of a way to try and imitate human vowels, so uh, human speech. So it's, it's also very, very useful. Next, we have the amp mode and voice panning and send level. So amp mode means we're manipulating, we're mo modulating the output sound. And right now it's set to no mode, but we can select any of the following options here. So for example, velocity will be um, the, the way you strike the keyboard. So if I strike it very, um, very soft or very hard, it will affect the overall volume. So basically we're setting the sensitivity of the keyboard here. We can also set the aftertouch to affect the overall volume or maybe the mod wheel, keyboard, expression pedal, any of the envelopes. Right now it's connected and it's actually locked to the VCA envelope and as you can see this is really um, an odd right we have LF, LFO 1, LFO 2, 3, envelope 2, 3 but here this first envelope is locked to the overall volume right so if we go to um, to our envelopes and have a look at the envelope VCA so this is exactly what's uh, been modulating our overall volume so far. And we'll cover the envelopes and LFOs and all the functions and everything else in separate session. We also have the option to, um, to modulate the volume by any of the macros and other options, uh, other functions, for example. So uh, that's the amp mode. Moving on to the voice pan, that's the general panning, of course. Left and right, double click, will get you back to center. And you have the send level. So right now we are set to 100% um, send level. And if we go to the FX panel here, we see that we have a reverb on the send bus. So um, that's why we are hearing the reverb. Going back to the synth. Dry. And all the way wet. 
And that concludes our filter session. See you in the next session.